Hey there, Read Along Kids! Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Papa Loves Doctors and Nurses. It was people who help us stay at Playgroup, and everyone was excited. Now, children, began Madame Gazelle. Today we have two very special visitors. They are both people who help us. Is one the queen? Asks Peppa. Is one my auntie? Asks Rebecca Rabbit. Dying to roar. Asks George. Three wonderful guesses, said Madame Gazelle. But the people coming to see us today are Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Hooray! cheered the children, jumping up and down. They love Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. When I hurt my leg, I had to go to the hospital, said Pedro Pony. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox looked after me. When I was feeling poorly, says Peppa, Dr. Brown Bear made me all better. Just then, there was a noise from outside. The children run to the window to look. Madame Gazelle, it's Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox. Good morning, everyone, said Dr. Brown Bear. Today, Nurse Fox and I are going to talk to you about keeping fit and staying healthy. Let's start by going over to the playground and getting our bodies moving. Yippee! cheered the children. They loved moving around outside. Dr. Brown Bear and Nurse Fox had built an obstacle course. To keep fit and healthy, we must move our bodies every day, said Dr. Brown Bear. Madame Gazelle will show us all how it's done. The children watched in amazement as Madame Gazelle completed the obstacle course perfectly. Ta-da! she cried. Now it's your turn, children, said Dr. Brown Bear. Ready, steady, go! Peppa and her friends set off. They swung, crawled, hopped, slid, skipped, and jumped around. This is so much fun, isn't it, Susie? cheered Peppa. But as she turned to Susie Sheep, Peppa forgot to look where she was going and fell on her bottom. Oops, cried Peppa. Thump. Nurse Fox came straight over. Are you all right, she asked. I think so, said Peppa. Good, said Nurse Fox, checking that Peppa was not hurt. You can carry on now, Peppa, but please be careful. Thank you for helping me, said Peppa. Peppa loved the obstacle course. This is my favorite. But she cried, jumping high and landing in a big, muddy puddle. I'm not sure that's part of the course, Peppa, said Madame Gazelle, smiling. Snack time, called Nurse Fox. Hooray, cheered the children. Don't forget to wash your hands before you eat, said Nurse Fox. All the children went to wash their hands. Peppa and Rebecca sang the Wash Your Hands song. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. Eating healthy food helps us stay fit and strong, said Dr. Brown Bear as he tried to open his snack box. Hmm, this seems to be stuck. Er, Nurse Fox, could you help me, please? Nurse Fox came over and opened the box easily. Nurse Fox, gasped Peppa. You must eat lots of healthy foods to be that strong. Everyone laughed. Peppa and her friends loved snack time. Yummy, they cried. Keeping fit and strong was delicious. You've done such a good job today, children, 
said Dr. Brown Bear when they'd finished. I'm going to give you all a sticker. Hooray, cheered the children. They loved stickers too. Madame Gazelle brought out the dressing up box. It's time for you to be the doctors and nurses now, children, she said. Peppa and her friends had lots of fun dressing up. Dr. Brown Bear said Peppa to the doctor. You must keep fit and stay healthy too. Of course, he replied. The children took Dr. Brown Bear outside and told him to go around and around the obstacle course. One more time, cried Peppa the doctor. Okay, puff, how's puff, this? gasped Dr. Brown Bear. When he was allowed to stop, he looked quite tired. Dr. Brown Bear doesn't look very well, said Peppa the doctor. I think he needs a plaster. And bandages added Nurse Danny Dog. And more bandages added Nurse Susie. Now he needs a sticker, says Peppa the doctor. All the little doctors and nurses covered Dr. Brown Bear in stickers. Thank you for being so helpful, said Dr. Brown Bear. He was covered in so many bandages, he couldn't move. What a patient patient he was. What do we say to our visitors, asked Madame Gazelle. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Nurse Fox, cheered the children, giving them a big clap. Peppa loves doctors and nurses. Everyone loves doctors and nurses. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.